Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In the previous video I was talking about uh, basic principles of uh, Russian woman's lifestyle. And if you haven't seen that video, please watch it because it helps you to understand this video about Russian feminism. The topic you voted. And what are Russian feminists fighting for? First of all, about uh, the scale of this movement uh, in Russia. According to statistics, uh, there were around 300,000 different feminist events uh, in 2019 in Russia. However, there is no single main uh, movement of uh, feminism in Russia. And feminism in Russia is scattered. There is a lot of different uh, communities. As a usual, um, it are not like official organization. It's more like a public communities. And meanwhile, a lot of Russian women agree with the basic um, thesis of Russian feminism, but they don't belong to a feminism organization and don't actively advocate for it. And what are Russian feminists fighting for? Remember about Russian wife's lifestyle? And traditionally, women in Russia take responsibility for chores and uh, education of children. But at the same time, she must work and she can't be just a housewife, so modern Russian feminist girl against the so-called second shift. And they want to share on an equal footing with their husband the care about the children and the chores. Russian feminists disagree with thinking that wife is always stand the second step, like a second part. She's not the leader. For example, be married in Russian sounds like быть замужем, what literally means uh, stay behind her husband. About Korea. According to Russian feminists, uh, there are a glass ceiling in a Russian company for women. And men don't want to see a woman as a leader. And according to Russian statistics, men hold more leader position than uh, women in uh, Russian companies. In Russia, about a hundred professions are prohibited for women officially. But I should say that uh, these professions um, indeed really hard or uh, harmful work. But feminists are fighting uh, against these uh, prohibited lists. And what is interesting that uh, governments say that uh, we prohibit it just uh, because we care about our women. Domestic violence. I think there is no single woman who uh, did not support uh, this topic. And of course this topic uh, is um, relevant not only for Russia, but uh, for many countries uh, in the world. Uh, but what is interesting about Russia? If we say about law, in Russia there is no special law about domestic violence. And why we need this law? Nowadays it is prohibited by law to harm health and beatings. But you can't be punished for threats and prosecutions, what is also part of domestic violence. There are not protection orders in Russia, which is mean that abuser um, must not approach to victim. It was about law. But what is about our society and our culture. You know, in Russia it is not good if you, uh, your uh, family problem, say outside, like freely, like your family problem you bring to the um, public judgment. In Russia I love to say don't wash dirty linen in public. And also there is also a, a habit of forgiveness. Even if a husband hit his wife, this woman should forgive uh, him for the sake of her family, for the sake of her children. Harassment, wow, really hot topic in our days. In uh, Russian community uh, there is uh, there was uh, some analog of Me Too uh, movement. It sounds like Я не боюсь сказать. It translated like I'm not afraid to say and this movement was uh, in uh, Russian and Ukraine. But what is interesting about um, harassment in uh, in R R Russian situation. If it happens in some company, you know, it is like a shame to say about it. And even if uh, the woman decided to say about it, it is not good for her because the offender usually don't be 
punished. He won't be fired for the, this reason because uh, this such moment doesn't say in uh, company charters. And also harassment and domestic violence are really hot topic for discussion of Russian feminists. There is also interesting feature about Russian feminism. Traditionally, in Russian language, there is a huge part of uh, name of professions uh, sounds like in male form of word. In English language, it sounds like cameraman, lawyer man, uh, cooker man, but Russian feminists oppose it and call professions in female form of words. And they actually start this trend and um, not even uh, feminists uh, say like that. And also men do it, uh, somebody do it just for fun, because it uh, sounds really funny in Russian language. Somebody do it for serious. In Russian culture, there is a special woman's day. We celebrate it in 8th of March. In this day, traditionally, women dress beautiful, they are gorgeous. Uh, men give uh, flowers and gifts uh, for women. In family, uh, husband um, take care of uh, children and uh, uh, do about and do chores, uh, which uh, usually do uh, women, but Russian feminists disagree with it. And they ask why we can get this attention only in this single day. And also they disagree that in this day we women must be beautiful. It's like they oppose uh, sexual objectifications. So guys, this video was about Russian feminism, uh, the topic uh, that you avoided. So what do you think about? Did you find some authentic things or is it quite uh, similar uh, uh, with the uh, feminist, um, feminism in your country? Please text me in the comment and thank you for watching and bye bye.